I am literally so sorry that this video has taken me so long to film. I haven't done an updated how I edit my photos video in like a year. And I do know that my editing style's like kind of changed a bit and I've been putting it off. But we're here, we're ready, let's get into it. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a summer edition of how I edit my Instagram photos. Obviously, I know autumn is about to begin, but to be fair, like I feel like I picked up this editing style maybe in the last three or four months, and it'll probably continue from now on. But I've only really got summer pictures on my phone, so we're going to do a summer picture, just apply it to like a winter one or whatever kind of area your photo is in. Um, just going to turn on my screen recording. I really hope my phone's got enough space because it always runs out of space. I need to get um, the iPhone 12 when it comes out because I don't know whether. I don't know whether like the official stuff's been released, but it has like four cameras. Like it looks so bougie. And my phone, like it's not even charging anymore. I've got the XS and I tell you what, Apple, I know they say they don't do it, but they definitely, definitely make phones like worse like as a new phone comes out. Because isn't it quite funny how the uh, iPhone 12 has just been released like to come out in what, October and my phone stopped charging. It's just like, hmm, it's a coincidence, isn't it? Not. Um, anyway, let's actually get into it. So, screen recording start. God, I've got such an itchy nose. I don't know what's going on. So, the picture, I'm going to go for one of these ones from Nikki Beach when I was in Ibiza because I really like these pictures and they're quite a nice kind of photo to show you how to edit. So, what one should we go for? Let's go for... Hmm, I've said this now and I don't know whether I like my face in any of them. Let's go with... Okay, let's go with this one here because it's a little bit closer up. Um, and I actually kind of look okay in it, even though I'm looking down, like I'm not even showing my face, but that's standard. Okay, pictures downloading because my phones run out of space. This is again why I need a new iPhone. So we're just gonna let it do that for a second. Okay, so what I tapped there was I literally just tapped on Lightroom. That's just how I open the picture, and I just click launch Lightroom now. You can also, if you've got the Lightroom app, you can just click like add photo from camera roll, and you can do it. Um, okay, that's an old picture of mine. Um, right, so you just scroll down to find the photo, so it won't, if the photo's from like a while ago, it won't be the most recent photo on your like Lightroom thing, it will be like when you took the picture, so there it is. Okay, so my editing style, I like to think it's quite easy, like I don't really do anything too fancy because I just can't do it. I watch people's editing videos and I'm like, god that's so cool, but they use like 12 apps and I'm like, I just can't, like I can't be doing that. So I use three apps, sometimes even two, um, which is Lightroom, Snapseed and Facetune. Facetune I literally only use to like smooth out an area or like, I don't know. I don't even know what else I use Facetune for. Oh, I use it to like add some detail in my eyes sometimes. Anyway, so on Lightroom, the first thing I do is I literally just tap Auto. So as you can see, like it hasn't done a huge amount, it's just kind of brightened it. And I find that also actually like it is really, really good. I know it's a bit lazy, but it's just a really good kind of like simple way of getting the base of your edit down. So after that, I then go into the bit that says light, which has got the little sun, and this has got all your kind of exposure, contrast, highlight stuff. So as you can see, the kind of like auto edit has done some bits to the shadows, especially. Um, I normally just kind of tweak them just to see if I kind of like it, but I quite like where they've put it. Um, I also tend to up the whites slightly just because I find that like bright whites in a photo just sit really well and they look really nice. Um, and then the highlights, I do normally pull down slightly. I'm not going to pull them down huge amounts today. And then exposure, I just kind of leave because Lightroom is literally so like um, sensitive to like moving the exposure. So like even if I move it just a wincy bit, it just looks so bright. So I'm just going to kind of, I might actually turn up slightly. Maybe I have it to like 0.01 because that's done a lot, isn't it? Oh, God, I've moved the shadows. Okay, next we are going to move on to colour. Um, so in here, it's got like four different colour options. I don't normally do a huge amount. I've turned up the pinks slightly to two. And then the vibrance is kind of like an auto thing that Lightroom does, and I'm actually not too mad about it. I'm going to try and turn up the warmth to see how it looks just a little bit warmer. Just because obviously it's got a lot of blue in the picture. Um, we are going to find a way to kind of like make the blue look nice. But I feel like when there is a lot of blue it's good to just kind of warm it up slightly. And then if you scroll back up to colour you'll see this little button on the right called mix. 
this is where the magic happens. This is where like the photo just like comes to life. So we're going to start with the blue because the blue is the thing that I feel like blue skies, people either get them like really, really right or just too kind of turquoisey and not really looking like a vibe. There are two different options for blue. There's like a light blue and then a regular blue. So with this light blue, I actually normally just, there's not really much with this color, but I kind of just turn it down to the bottom just because that kind of blue is almost like a shadowy blue. I, I don't know why, I just don't, don't really like that color. So we're gonna go on to the dark blue and what you'll see lots of people do and like the way that quite a lot of people edit is they literally just move all their blues like well maybe not that dramatic but like down to that and like that does look cute but I just don't think it looks realistic and I quite like my photos to look fairly real like I haven't done a huge amount to them even though I have um so I normally turn the blue hue to maybe like minus nine and then I always turn the luminous up because I just like I was saying I don't like loads of blue and I think when it's a bit lighter it just looks it, may, it may, just makes the photo look a little bit more easy on the eye. So that's what I normally do. I don't really mess around too much with the saturation, although I might make it plus five today. And I just feel like that looks a lot better. One thing on Lightroom as well, which you'll probably notice me do, is I like hold down the screen like that and that kind of just like shows me the before and the after. So as you can see, there's not a huge amount. Now I'm thinking if I turn the blue down, maybe I'll turn the luminous down a little bit. This video is very much a trial and error for me. Like, I haven't got photo editing, like, down to a T. I I don't have a preset. I honestly think if I sold presets, they'd be a mess because I just can't get something to look perfect from the get-go. So, it's a bit of a trial and error. Next up, we're going to move on to the purples. So, there probably isn't a huge amount of purple in this pick, but again, like the turquoise green, I'm just going to turn it down because it's really good to kind of, like, counteract any shadows. Then... Something that I do a lot, and I probably won't be able to do with this photo in particular, is I normally turn the yellows down a little bit. So I move the hue to the kind of left-hand side, which makes it a little bit more peachy. And then I turn the saturation down. But obviously, as you can see, I've got yellow in the bikini, so it makes it a little bit more difficult to do that. So I might actually still keep it looking slightly on the peachier side, but I think the saturation I'm going to have to put as like a minus four, just to kind of keep a bit of the colour. And then one thing that I also do, which I don't know, it might be a bit, it might be a bit naughty, but I feel like we all do it. I make myself look a little bit more tanned. Um, and by doing that, I literally just turn the luminous down on the oranges and it just gives me a little bit more of a glow. I'm going to see about the saturation. I might turn that up a bit as well. So it's not like a huge amount of kind of colour changing my skin because I know that that is awful but I just do like a little bit to have a little glow I do not tan very well because I wear well I wear fat to 50 like all the time so fake tan is and I think it might have been coming off a little bit on this day so I'm just gonna tan myself shameless but it's got to be done so we are now going to move on to detail so detail is actually quite a nice like little function in Lightroom I always find that when I have a really bad quality picture or like a not very nice quality taking a bad lighting I'll always go into detail first to kind of like bring the picture back into like some decent quality this photo is actually looking all right but what I will do is I turn up the noise reduction so I don't know a huge amount about noise but I think it kind of um just like makes the photo look a little bit not grainy but like just a bit a bit bad quality so you could turn it up the whole way and that will literally just like smooth out everything in the photo which I think just looks a little bit too airbrushed but I'm gonna put it on maybe like mm, maybe like 18 and then I also turn up the sharpness so that kind of just brings the photo like kind of more to a higher quality look I took these on this phone actually but I would say like camera photos obviously are always going to be better quality and also the new iphone 11 has the most unreal camera i've ever seen like it's so good um oh oh sugar bakes that's my friend danny and um, that's her business okay so next we're going to move into effects i don't really do a huge amount in effects probably because i don't really know much about it but one thing i do is i turn up the clarity and i like if you want to edit photos like me do not turn the clarity up too much because it's when the photo gets a little bit crazy looking. So if I turn it up a lot, it ends up making it look a little bit like that, which I know it, it looks all right. Like it's, a, it's an okay look, but it's not for me. So I'm gonna just put it on maybe like plus two just to kind of make the photo look, again, just a bit better quality. 
And then I might actually turn the grain up. I don't normally do a huge amount of grain. I love photos with lots of grain. But I think obviously because I take a lot of my photos on my phone, um, adding grain just sometimes makes them look really bad quality. But this one's looking okay. So I'm going to turn up the grain slightly. Maybe to like, what's it on right now? Like 20s? I feel like that seems quite nice. Um, right, so this is like the main bulk of the photo edited. I'm then going to go in and just kind of like fix and tweak little bits that I'm not sure on. So I'm starting to think that the photo looks a little bit um, shadowy. I don't know why. I think it might be the black. So I'm going to go back into light and turn up the blacks slightly. And another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and kind of brighten my hair up a little bit because I feel like my hair, I had it dyed recently and my hairdresser is literally the most amazing person. But I think because my hair naturally is so dark, I think it was quite hard to get all of the like brown natural colour out of it. Like I don't know whether you can see, I'm quite mousy. Uh, well, am I mousy? I feel like my hair is getting like my dad's. So my dad's basically got like black hair and I feel like my hair slowly is getting to be that kind of colour. Which, you know, I, I don't, it doesn't suit me. It makes me look really um, odd. So... I'm going to colour in my hair, I didn't actually explain what I was doing then, so I go into selective and then I tap the little plus icon at the top and I just colour in the bits of my hair um, that I want to kind of lighten. I'm not too particular about this, like I don't really do it like that exact, just kind of like around about the shape. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to turn up the whites to kind of make my hair look a little bit more blonde. And I'm also going to turn up the highlights slightly. And what about the shadows? What if I do that? Oh, I might turn up the shadows a little bit as well. And then I'm going to click off. So it doesn't really do like a huge amount, but it just kind of helps to make me look a little bit more blonde. Um, right, last thing we're going to do is we're going to crop it to the Instagram size, which is 4 by 5 um, So let's do that. And then I kind of just like move the photo around to like what I want, because I kind of like... When Instagram, obviously, it's like in little squares, I quite like my face to be like in the middle of the squares. Obviously, you could probably turn this to a square shape and like see where the best fit is. But for me, I think I'm going to literally have it right at the bottom so like my legs are completely in the photo um, like that. And there's a little bit of sky. But yeah, that is the main bulk of editing in Lightroom. So we're going to save that out. We're going to tap the little button here and export to camera roll so this will export it in like the best possible quality that it has you don't really have to do a huge amount of being like export and 100% it just kind of does it okay so we're now going to go on to facetune I don't really do a huge amount on here like I was saying um I actually just click auto again I feel like I'm the queen of auto like I don't really have that much skill when it comes to it um and I actually find that auto does make the photo look a little bit too smooth sometimes so I'm going to turn down the smoothness and then I'm also going to turn down the glow slightly. Um, so it kind of adds like a little bit to the picture. If I show you the before and after. So that was the before and the after. So it just adds like a little bit of like glow to your skin. Makes you look healthy and cute. And that is basically all I'm going to do in Lightroom at this point. Because there's not really anything else I need to do. One thing I actually want to let you guys know is I do not edit my body in my pictures. Um, obviously like you do you. Do you but... I don't really edit my body at all. I just think there's no point in doing that. Um, I've got to embrace what I've got. And high-waisted bikinis are the way to go. Like, this bikini honestly saved my life on this day. So, in Snapseed, because that's the next app we're going into. I'm really bad at explaining. We're going to go into, what did that even say? Tune Image, which is on the top right. And on here, I'm going to kind of, like, tweak with the brightness and the contrast a little bit. So, I normally make the photo a little bit brighter. And I actually, the ambiance or ambience, however you say it, that tool is the best tool in editing, I swear to God, because you just turn up the ambience, ambi ambi I don't know, how do you say it? Can you guys let me know in the comments? Because when I say ambience, ambiance, oh, I've forgotten how I'm saying it now. When I say it like that, people take the piss out of me. So I think it's ambience, ambi ambience, oh, don't know, fucking hell. Right, anyway, I turn it up. So I'm going to turn this up to... Actually, I might turn it up quite a bit because I feel like that's doing the most of the photo. So I might put it on like 36. And as you can see, like that's the before and that's the after. Like it honestly does the most. So I'm going to do that as well. And am I going to do anything else? 
I'm also going to turn up the shadows actually a little bit as well because I do think it looks a little bit shadowy. So I feel like that is actually looking pretty good. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go into the selective tool because I feel like the black on my bikini is starting to look a little bit fuzzy, starting to look a little bit grey. So I'm just going to click on to the selective tool and I'm just going to tap onto the bikini at some point and I'm going to reduce the size of like the little circle thing just so it focuses on the bikini and I'm just going to turn the brightness down slightly just because I want it to look a little bit more black and pop in so let's just do that and then the bottoms of the bikini I'm actually thinking are looking a little bit grey as well like a bluey grey so I'm going to turn down the saturation and then I'm also going to turn up the brightness slightly and that actually does do the most, like it just kind of makes the bikini like really the focus point of this photo because it is the focus point. If you guys want to know where it's from, it's from River Island and I love it. Um, okay, so I am actually really happy with that picture. I think that looks great. So I'm going to export it now, save a copy. And lots of people have kind of like apps where they... Um, like put their photos and like design their Instagram feed. For me, I have a fake Instagram account. You probably might have seen it. It's called Becky Heart Test. Um, please don't follow it. It's it's really embarrassing. I've got like 1,422 photos on this. So I've had this account a long time. And I just post it on here just to kind of see whether it goes with my feed, except I've run out of Wi-Fi. So let's turn the Wi-Fi back on. So that actually loads. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna click share and just see how it looks on the page. So normally when I look at this, I'm really critical, so I always think it does need a bit of a tweak. Um, okay, is that loading? Yeah, so it's just posting. So actually looking at it, I don't think the photo actually looks too bad. I think it looks quite good. One thing I might do is turn up the brightness slightly. So I'm gonna go back onto it, and I'm just gonna turn up the brightness a little bit there we go and we're just going to repost it and just see how we feel so i'm going to delete the one before okay there we go i actually think that looks so much better um so yeah i'm actually really happy with that that was a nice easy edit normally i have to like go back and forth and try and tweak it um but i am actually happy with that so that is how i edit my pictures um summer edition i probably will do like another one in winter because i do think my editing style changes all the time um uh, so if you guys when it comes to like autumn winter time if you're like becky your summer video is not helping me right now i need a new one i will do it i'm happy to do it let me know in the comments down here or just drop me a dm on instagram like i don't mind doing it i know it takes me a while but if you just keep pressuring me i will do it in the end um but yeah that is the end of today's video i really hope you guys liked it and i hope that i kind of explained it okay like i said i'm not the best person at editing actually if there's one person that does like really good like editing stuff kelsey in london i think her instagram at is she has really good photos so if you this if this tutorial isn't for you I would go watch one of hers because they're top notch. Anyway, guys, if you did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment as well if you edit your pictures. Maybe leave your Instagram at if you actually edit your pictures like mine because I would love to see what you guys do. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.